In this video, we'll be talking about the release tile. Now, as you've seen in the pick and place tiles, the gripper's automatically gonna actuate, but sometimes you wanna open that gripper outside of that situation. To do this, I would recommend the release tile. I personally like to use it to make sure that my gripper is fully open before I go down and pick something up off of the table. To go in deeper, let's look at our tablet. First, I'll go learn, learn a new job, and then I'll slide in a release tile. Up top, we have the first checkbox that says, wait for gripper to open. Now, just as it ha happens in a grip tile, the gripper is fully gonna open and then move on to the next part of the sequence. To skip all that and just start opening it and then move, on and move on while still opening it, you can uncheck that checkbox. Above that, we have the gripper, where again, you're going to select which gripper this is actually happening to or which gripper you're gonna release. And below that, we have override gripper settings where you can set the actual width you're gonna open up to and the speed that you're gonna actually open that width to. And then you can always reverse the release direction if you are maybe picking something up on the ID of a part. You can reverse that so it actually closes. So again, it's gonna operate very similar to like a grip tile. And again, just like the grip tile, you're going to have a release and a grip to move the gripper all within this tile. So the next time you wanna make sure you're opening the gripper fully or you're opening it before going into a pick, you can use the release tile.